And not um, just that, too, Star Raven, we're also looking for, this is the awesome show, on April the 12th, we're getting all the MS Group managers and assistant managers to jump in. It's called the MSN Group Managers Witch Circles. That means I'm going to be promoting, and all my producers are going to be hunting down different groups with managers, inviting them and their assistants to come and join us, because we want you members and all these other people out there hear about how we do witch wars, how we laugh, how we have fun, how we do our rituals, and managers beating up managers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be fun. It's going to be like a wrestling match. But mm -hmm. basically what we want to do is love and light in it. We also want to hear their side, how hard it is to, uh, to continue to have it's a group. It's not easy all the time to run a, a forum. as is. You might think it's just a message board, but we are a family. And we do have personalities in there that clash. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going to be <laughs> yeah, There'll be some fun. Like, we, they're like going to talk about fun colors. times and bad times, too. So to look forward to the 12th of April after my birthday party bash that the MSN group managers and assistant witches circle. So all you managers out there that owns and assistant managers, you're going to come in and you're going to be able to, you know, Bump heads or have fun or and just anybody has say what you have to say, story, what you feel. So we got six minutes remaining to the Wicked Radio talk show. We have a really quick question here, and it's oh, for good. Vampire. Okay, let's get let's get going. Okay, please. Okay. Uh, the question is, um, my my uh, my daughter um, also has this gift of being able to talk to him. Um, you're breaking up, sweetheart. When she was twelve. She got comfortable, and she has this huge, beautiful German shepherd dog to bite her. And that's what she's asking is, what would cause that dog to bite at her with her being such a friend to animals? Well, I think that it, it might be how the dog was treated as a, as a pup, because not all people see animals as things that can feel. And I think that it's really important to socialize all animals when they're a young age to yeah. to children, yeah. different animals, and different types of people. Because right. there's, there's some dogs who are terrified of men with beards. And there's some dogs that are absolutely terrified of tall men with blonde hair. Because I know my dog here, he absolutely goes nuts after my brother-in-law. Hmm. It's just one of those things. That's, he just does not like like them. Can I, can I ask you a yeah. question, Lady Bumpy? Because I know I had a dog that, for some reason, black people uh, it freaked out, and white people, I mean, you know, it's like, I don't know if he's a racist dog, but it was something I, about I think black it's how he was raised, because I have a cat that's that's like that, because I grew up in a, in a mostly white rural neighborhood, and I moved to the city, and where we moved, there was... A f quite a large amount of people of color, and my cat, he he was terrified, and it was because he had never seen that before. He had only seen seen people of a certain racial background, and that's what he was used to. He he didn't know anything else, so he was scared. It, it's like a, a dog who's been only raised around his own breed sees a dog of another breed. He's he doesn't know what to do. Right, and I have a question I wanted to ask you. Where are you? Where did? Where were you raised? Did you have an accent? <laughs> well, um, I'm I'm in Canada, and oh, my... okay, that's why. Okay, <laughs> but you have you have like a British uh, accent. Got an accent. Like, yeah, yeah, her, her, her the family. Canadians, the Canadians talk like they sound just like the British, British people. Yeah, yeah. I thought she, I thought for sure because Lady Vampire Shadow. I'm picturing her in Europe or England or you know where those vampires are. <laughs> we have three minutes remaining for the show. Do we have any more callers? I well, like I, I should finish up my story about. Oh, about I'm sorry, yeah. sweetie. Go ahead. I want to hear it. Yes, do it before it's time to go because I want to hear it. Well, okay, well, we were going on the way, and we picked up my sister at the school, and we went to the veterinary clinic. We stopped for lunch on the way and had a good time with them in the little park. The, when we were in the veterinary office, 
after he had the captor put in everything, I laid in on the floor with him at his head, and my sister laid down on the other side of him. And the vet put in the intravenous injection, and he was he had fallen over within around 30 seconds, which is normal. Most animals will pass out at 30 seconds. And when his spirit left his body, I felt it, and I was pulled out of my body. Wow. Whoa, that is really, really something else. So did you walk him over the rainbow bridge to the gate? Yep, I, um, it's, he, it's like he wanted me to go with him, because even though he was ready to die, like he had stopped eating for a week, and he was a real food hound, he loved his food, and for him to not eat, told you that he was ready to cross over. So, he slumped into my arm, and I felt him, him leave, and I was being pulled out with him, and I saw a light. It, it wasn't like the stereotypical tunnel. It was just very, very bright. Uh -huh. And the color of it was like, it's hard to describe because we don't have this color here. It's like almost blue but almost white, but it's very, very bright. Wow. And I felt this presence coming at me. And it was just pure excitement. And then uh -huh. I saw a dog, this black shaggy dog, running towards me. And her whole back end was shaking as she came at us. And it was a dog I had in my childhood, Bandit. Oh, and wow. she licked my face, and I felt it, it was like static tingle. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's And beautiful. behind her, in this very bright light, I couldn't see any faces or forms. It was a shadow, because it was just so bright. I saw two human figures, a male and a female, and some other animals. And I kept telling Taz, it's okay, go with her. She's here for you. I love you. You can come and visit me whenever you want. It's, it's okay. You can go. And he was kind of hesitant. And then he just he went off with her into the light. And when they were gone, I was sent a quick flash of another place. 